Hello and welcome back to the Sparkling Autos YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be carrying out the first maintenance wash on the Mini since the winter preparation video. If you haven't seen that yet, I'll put a link in the top right corner of your screen and if that doesn't work, I'll put it in the comments below. In the meantime, as you can see here, please don't forget to like the video by pressing the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel. It doesn't cost anything and it really does help the channel going forward. But anyway, enough about the sales pitch, back to the video. So as you can see here, the car is a bit of a mess at the minute. Um, my original plan was to carry out a maintenance clean every two to three weeks. But as my wife and I both work shifts, trying to get a day where we're both off and it's actually dry to get out and clean the car isn't always feasible. It has actually been nearly five weeks since the winter preparation was carried out. Um, it'll be interesting to see just how much difference it's made and how much it speeds up the, the wash process. Now, wheels first. As the objective here is a quick maintenance wash, we're not going to go into wheel shampoos and having buckets ready or dedicated wheel cleaners. We're just going around with an APC, diluted, diluted at 10 to 1. Try that again. Diluted at 10 to 1. Um, sprayed lightly onto a damp mitt and go around the face of the wheels and just very quickly around the tyre as well. And then spray the same solution onto. Um, this is a, a medium wheel brush from Gion, bought through County Detail and Supplies. Actually a very good brush, perfect for the Mini's wheels. If you have anything bigger than sort of 16, 17 inch wheels, I would go for the larger version. This just fits in between the caliper and the wheels, no more. It didn't do the same for the front wheels, it had to roll them back, but we're not showing that in the video. I'm sure you've seen a car move back and forward before. And here for the wheel nuts and between the tire and the rim, I'm using the Valid Pro. Um, soft brush. This is actually the same brush that I dropped at the start of the Alien Magic Halloween video you may have noticed. And when you're done, give the wheel a good rinse out. 3-4 um, minutes max for each wheel. That's all we need here for a quick uh, maintenance wash. So the first step of the pre-wash is to carefully measure out, or not so carefully measure out, around 40ml of autofoam. Then mix this up with warm water to make a total, total, total solution of a, around 500ml. You can make your solution a lot stronger if you want to, um, but what we're trying to demonstrate here is just how cost effective it can be to keep the car protected. You want to use less products to clean it, less time, that's all I'm really trying to show here. I've mentioned before, this is my preferred method for applying the foam to the vehicle. Nice slow movements going from the bottom to the top, left to right, and work in an overlapping pattern. And do just remember when you're applying this, there's nobody behind you with a stop clock. There's no rush to get the foam onto the vehicle. Take your time, do it nice and evenly, and you'll find it's actually quicker to put on and you're using less product. So if you're new to detailing and you're not exactly sure what a snow foam is, is it just for photographs or does it actually serve a purpose? Yes, the answer is it does. A good snow foam will remove 80-90% to 90 of the surface contaminants without you having to go in with your cloths and mitts and start rubbing them into the paintwork. Because that's where the overwhelming majority of defects actually come from. It's not from stones and other contaminants being flicked onto your vehicle from the car in front. It's actually from poor wash techniques. That hazing that you can see on your vehicle in the sun and all those swirl marks. They're picked up from sponges and microfibers, just lifting dirt that's on the vehicle and spreading it around your paintwork, scratching your clear coat. If that's not something that interests you, that's absolutely fine. It's your car, it's up to you what way you look after it. But think of it this way, it's a lot less effort. You just spray it on, leave it for five minutes and rinse it off. And 
just to show you exactly what I mean by that, this, just to remind you, is a car that hasn't been washed for five weeks. I just sprayed this foam on, left it for five minutes, and you can instantly see how much easier it is to get the dirt off the door. I'm not standing putting a lot of pressure on it, I'm not spraying it over and over. The dirt is just falling off, and you can actually see the protection on the vehicle, the way the water is just wanting to sheet off instantly. And the car hasn't been washed yet, this is purely from a pre-wash. Left it well for five minutes and rinsed off. So anybody who's been following the channel so far, and I do appreciate it, um, we may have noticed by now that I am very, I think methodical is the word for how I remove the snow from, from the vehicle. I like to go from the bottom to the top. I just find it easier this way. I can see what's come off. And as you will have noticed, even from when I was rinsing the door off there, doing it this way will make it much less likely that you're going to miss something. I'd just like to mention again here, as with previous videos, all music has been supplied by Stu Preston. And I'll leave links to Stu's Instagram and YouTube pages below. So hopefully now you can actually see the benefits of a decent pre-wash routine. Um, the, the vehicle's pretty much clean, you wouldn't be embarrassed driving around in it now. Just a few things to note, when you're doing this process, take your time. There's absolutely no rush in getting the product off the vehicle here. Get in through all your crevices, get your flaps cleaned out, and your wheel arches, the wheels themselves. Take your time, there's no rush here whatsoever. This to me is one of the most, if not the most important stage of the wash process. This is where you're removing most of the dirt from the vehicle, 90 plus percent. And the more you remove here, the less chance you have of damaging the vehicle when it comes to the next stage. So now we're preparing for the actual contact wash stage. Now, my personal preference is to use warm water and mix a solution in that, and then agitate it with the pressure hose, get a bit of air in there and froth it up a bit. You don't have to use warm water, some people prefer to use cold. It's not an issue for me to get warm water from the tap, therefore I just find it a bit more, a bit more comfortable, probably be the right word. So as usual with the safe wash method, the two buckets, one for rinsing the pads, one for Soap. and wash the vehicle one panel at a time in a cross hatch motion. So I one side of the pad go left to right and then flip the pad over and go up and down. You'll also notice here I'm applying very very little pressure onto the pad, I'm just really using my fingertips. Um, that's because as you saw from the pre-wash stage most of the dirt's removed from the vehicle, there's actually no need to apply any pressure as there's very little contamination actually on the vehicle to wash. I know it may be hard to tell here looking at this handsome happy face, but I actually enjoy cleaning cars. Another thing you notice here is on these piano black trim pieces, just be very very gentle. They scratch very easily. And now onto the glass. I mentioned in the last video I just use a like a pound shop bug removing cloth. I find these absolutely perfect for it. You can apply as much pressure as you want. Let's be honest, you're not going to scratch glass with a cloth. So any bugs that have hit the windscreen or what's left of them will just easily be removed. Daft jokes aside, don't be afraid to look for cheaper alternatives when it comes to things like this. Um, yes, when it comes to your paintwork, you want to use good, safe, soft mitts and pads to wash the car. But when it comes to your plastic trims, glass and things, you don't have to use a super plush, double hybrid Arabian sheepskin pad. Do you know, anything at all will clean certain elements of the vehicle. Yes, you want to protect your clear coat as much as possible, but plastic trim and glass does not need to be cleaned with a 30 pound wash mitt. 
On the subject of mitts, you'll notice here, I'm only using this one to do the first, to the top half, two thirds of the door. Um, oh, hold on, don't forget the other wing mirror. Yeah, there you go. And as you'll see in a couple of moments, I use a different pad for the bottom half of the door and the front and rear bumpers. Now the reason to do this, as I mentioned with the different pads, is this is where the vast majority of the dirt sits in your vehicle, so the lower third. So you don't want to use the same pad to wash the top of the vehicle, and you certainly don't want to wash it first. Always leave this to the end. And then once I've done the, the bottom half of the doors and the bumpers, I go around the trim with another pad. Now the advantage with the Mini is, it actually has this solid black trim the entire way around the lower part of the vehicle, which makes this part a lot simpler. One more thing I want to touch on in the contact wash process is this. Now you'll have seen in previous videos, I use the detail and brush during the pre-wash stage, as many people do. However, after recently watching a video from Dave at Detailing and the Beast, which I'll link below and above if I can, this may not be best practice because the whole point of a pre-wash stage is to remove dirt before contact. So it's an interesting point. Maybe right, maybe wrong, but I think going forward, I'm going to do it this way and do the detail and brush during the contact stage, not pre-wash. If that makes sense. Anyway, enough waffling about brushes. Now we're in the vehicle down. Now unlike the pre-wash stage, as I mentioned before, when you rinse the vehicle after your wash, go from the top to the bottom. Otherwise you'll be rinsing it twice. Now as I'm rinsing the vehicle down, you can actually see the hydrophobic nature of the protection come back to life. This was not an expensive product, as I've mentioned. This was a 15 pound PS wax and a single coat of it applied. It just goes to show that the amount of prep work you put into the vehicle can pay dividends. Now again, this is only five weeks. Let's see if it's still like that in five months time. Only time will tell, but in the meantime, let's get this vehicle rinsed and dried and just have a look at some more of the hydrophobic nature of the protection. So to dry the vehicle, the first thing you'll need to do is get your hose out. Okay, so this is a trick I learned from Spec M Exploring. You can remove most of the water from the car by actually using your garden hose on the right setting. Now this won't remove all the water, but you're going to remove a good 60-70% of it, which will make the drying process a lot simpler. You can go around the entire car then with the one tile, no need to wring it out, change it and get all the water off in one go. Something else I explained in my last video is when you're using a drying towel, make sure the towel is dampened first and I find that the best way to do this is to actually ground and soak up all the water from the glass. This then gets the towel damp enough to absorb the rest of the water in the vehicle. If you go to the bodywork with the dry towel, you'll end up actually dragging the towel across the paintwork without soaking the water up properly. As difficult as this is for a detailer to do, I didn't use any sprays in this car afterwards. I've literally just done exactly what you can see here, which was a pre-wash, a contact wash, and drying the vehicle off again. You can certainly use a quick detailer if you like on the vehicle. All I'm trying to do here is test the durability of this product over the winter. 
And to do that fairly, I need to do it without using any other chemicals other than the pre-wash and shampoo. I know this is a complete contradiction to what I just said about using sprays, but you can't finish your car off without giving the tires a bit of a shine. So this is just a quick trim dressing by um, Auto Glance Ballot Plus. Gives a nice finish and smells like strawberry milkshake. So there we are, that's the maintenance wash completed. Um, as you saw in the video, it used very little effort and very little product. I think the running total, including the tire dressing, was 77 pence. So while it's that one day at the start of the winter, is a full day's work prepping the car for this. It shows you you can actually save that money and time back in the long run. And it's certainly, in my opinion, better than spending £5 at the side of the road for somebody to potentially mar your paintwork. So I'll leave you with a few finished shots and just say what's coming up on the channel soon. So I still have to get these wheels off and get them protected. The glass scene still needs done. And have a few other projects coming up, uh, testing other products on other vehicles, you'll be glad to hear as well. In the meantime, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the thumbs up at the end. And I'll see you in the next one.